welcome back. Well, how good was Danny Boyle? Let's get my next guest out. He is a rising star, not just here, but also in Hollywood. It is, and you will probably recognise him from when he was very young indeed, but now his career's gone on to just enormous great heights. It's Nicholas Holt, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got some fans in tonight. What a what an unattractive young man you are, Nicholas Holt. Uh, no, it's great to have you here. Hey, I know I mentioned there you know, people know you from uh, when you were young because, of course, you've been making movies since you were young. Everyone knows about a boy that was a huge hit, and you were in that. But what, what was uh, what age did you start acting? I uh, I did. Oh, it is. Uh... Oh yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm surprised you didn't keep that haircut because <laughs> Justin Bieber's stolen that now, hasn't he? <laughs> It's pretty similar, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it, yeah, we did that when I was 11. 11? Yes. And how old were you when you started acting? Three. I did you my were first three? Play three. Yeah, yeah. So was that like a, a school thing or that was a, a proper job? No, that was a, a play called The Caucasian Chalk Circle. Wow. Which I don't remember anything about apart from doing the poster shoot. And there was, I was standing in a chalk circle and I had my mum on one side and, and another lady on the other side. I had to look up at the camera and they were pulling my arms. Right, so you were, that, you were being... It's a tug of war between yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah. I, I, can't, I, I can't even remember what the story of the play is, to be honest with you. Well, you were three. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I, I can <laughs> did you have read. lines in it, or did you just walk around looking cute? I don't think I had lines. I think, yeah. Just they just tugged cute. your arms. Yeah, but then I got biscuits and juice, because it hurt after a while. <laughs> so, bonus. Biscuits and juice. Yeah. You should put that in your wider on all your jobs from now on, just to get... <laughs> 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 uh, OK, so, uh, Nicholas is just 23 years old, so 20 years... You've already got a 20-year career. That's yeah, quite yeah. remarkable. Did you always know that acting was for you? I mean, obviously, you were, you initially, you were essentially no more than a piece of rope in your first role, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but a very cute piece of rope, yeah. I'm sure. But did you know that's what you wanted to do? Did you have the bug from an early age? No, uh, when, I was, when I was really, really small, I thought you could grow up and be animals. Um, so I, I, I was wanting to be a dolphin then. Uh, and then. And then when I grew up and realised that wasn't possible, it kind of segued into acting and well, that was a hobby and then carried on. Why a dolphin in particular? I'm not really sure. I still like them though. Maybe yeah. not as much as I'd still want to be one, but... And when you imagine yourself being a dolphin, what kind of life did you imagine a dolphin led? <laughs> I mean, what, 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 what I'm trying to establish is what attracted you to the life aquatic? It was just, you know, the idea of having a blowhole and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just walked around and... I was young. I was young. I don't want you to talk what? about it. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, you slipped into that a little too easily. Yeah. But you're in a new movie now, and one of the great thing is, except for me, because we've got Ian McShane, who's one of my favourite yeah. actors. He's here this evening, and you're in the film together. There is, there you are playing Jack the Giant Slayer in the big, and it's a big, proper, big, big budget Hollywood movie, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, it's pretty epic in scale. Now, what's that experience, like working in a film like that, that sort of scale? It's intimidating. Uh, you know, you, we had huge sets and all these special effects going on, and then you get to work with these actors that you look up to, like McShane and Ewan McGregor and all these people. Um, and on some levels, it's like the scale is overwhelming. But then there's also, like, the, the strangest things, like, you're in this massive budget film, and you've been learning to ride horses for weeks and weeks on end, and then it gets to shooting the horse sequences, and you, you're not allowed to go on an actual horse. So Ian will testify to this. We had to sit on oil drums <laughs> with bits of elastic holding them up. And we were pulled along behind a truck. And then we had to, like, hump the oil drum <laughs> in rhythm as, to make it look like we were on horses. And then uh, you'd get to the end of a run and you'd think, like, I'd sit there, I'd sit there in my trailer and I'd be like, you know, I'm in a big action movie, this is exciting. And then I'd have to go out and hump a barrel in front of all these guys <laughs> and sit there. And then they'd, they'd comment on if your rhythm was off and if it looked realistic. It was shocking and very tiring, actually. It could work out. I bet it was. Surprised. Have you kept the barrel? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you've lost touch with the barrel. Yeah, no, I'm not, not in contact. OK, here's a clip from Jack the Giant Slayer, uh, and it's just opened here in the UK. So if you get a chance, go and see this. <laughs> Jack the Giant Slayer. Nicholas plays Jack. He's the star of the movie. That's a big thing to carry. No, the, the, the Giants are definitely the stars yeah. of that film. The You're Giants the and the Beanstalk. Um, I was, I'm very excited when I heard you doing that. I'm very pleased your career's doing so well. I mean, not that I'm involved in any way, but I've followed you and I've enjoyed your work since about a boy. I loved uh, Nicholas in Skins. Did you remember Nicholas in Skins? Which was just a great series. 
yeah. terrific show, really good. And to see you in the X-Men movie last year as well oh, yeah, was yeah. very exciting. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it. It was X-Men First Class. Of course, Nicholas played Beast. Did you know when you signed in that you would be spending half the movie hidden behind blue fur, or was that just a lovely surprise for you? It, uh, <laughs> you know, I was kind of aware of it, but I didn't quite... I had never done prosthetic makeup stuff before. Uh, <laughs> so you can uh, see how much Nicholas is enjoying the experience right there. <laughs> you know what? They had, they had a little camera placed on me during those scenes because it got so hot in there that they were worried I was going to pass out because literally none of my skin's available to breathe. So You know, you know it, actually, with that on, you look a little bit like Ian McShane. Right. Nothing, we're just saying hi. <laughs> well, oh, Karen, we're talking about other you. things. Good, good, good. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Carry on, you beast. Sexy beast, please. Sexy beast. Mm. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, so, uh, you're doing, this is the exciting thing, if you like the X-Men films, you like the last one, you're doing the next X-Men movie. Yeah. Of course, and that's about to start shooting this summer, yeah, is that right? Yeah, we start shooting, uh, I think they start shooting in a, in a few weeks, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, and that's about to start shooting this summer, is that right? Yeah, we start shooting, I think they start shooting in a, in a few weeks, actually. And Brian Singer, who, do, who directed Jack, is going to direct that. Who started the X-Men kind of films. Yeah, yeah. Do you get recognised a lot more now than you used to, I guess, with the X-Men? films and we now we get the dance day you are gonna get I mean I know we had a lot of fans turn up outside this evening in the studio I guess I get recognized a little bit more from that yeah it's odd but people don't often come and like actually talk a lot of the time they kind of just follow you at a distance it's kind of this odd spy they're, game I've they're, got they're not on. fans they're stalkers if yeah. they're doing that <laughs> and you spot them you clock them and then you see them like clock you and then and then they'll just be like 20 yards behind <laughs> <laughs> wherever you're going, and then I start going into random shops and like trying to dodge them, ducking behind clothes rails and then shimmying out. It's quite a fun game. So you did see me when well, I was in... nothing else to do. <laughs> when I was in TK Maxx that time. <laughs> TK Maxx, I used to love... Uh, this is... Just, my mum used to spend hours in there. Literally like four-hour shopping trips. It was horrendous. Yeah, because you I can never find like, anything in the fits, can you? Uh, it was so horrible. I still, it brings back terrible memories, but I used to run up and down inside the clothing rails in there. Did you then, used to play hide-and-seek under the clothing rails? I did, yeah. <laughs> 18, 19, how old are we talking about? <laughs> Just before coming here tonight. Uh, uh, how lovely to have you on the show. I'm so thrilled your career's going. It's, it's going, going great time. guns, isn't it? Last time I ripped my trousers. Did you rip your trousers when you came on the show? Yeah, yeah, and I was like trying to hide my pants because they were bright white and I had a dark suit on. I, so wondered, this time, this time, I wondered why you were grinding. This time I did like... I just, he was, he was sitting there, he was sort of doing the other like that, and I thought, man, <laughs> this is having a very strange very effect on, on the, on the carpet. Yeah, it was, it was really odd. Was, but th this time, like, in, pre in, in warm-up, I, like, I was in the dressing room back there, and I just, like, popped out, and like, uh, no-one was looking, I was like... <laughs> and just practised sitting down really hard, <laughs> just to make sure they weren't going to rip. Like, I did a hard squat <laughs> well, in preparation, um, so I was really ready. We will, uh, now we will all be staring at your ass when you leave, you know that, don't you? <laughs> Just in case. Uh, yeah. How great to have you, ladies and gentlemen. Jack the Giant Slayer is out already, starving Nicholas Holt. Thank you, Nicholas. Okay, join me after the break, please. I'll be chatting to Nicholas's co star, the fantastic Ian McShane. Don't go away.